Welcome back to our channels, Warriors. We are still growing. If you haven't had every officer at CHCF, smash that subscribe button. Go and have them smash it right now. First and foremost, let me give a shout out to all the patrons. You guys are the heartbeat of this channel. Thank you, guys. I love you. I'll give you a shout out at the end. This episode right here, man, you guys have already seen the headlines, right? This is not fake news. This is not a fake memorandum generated by some CO man getting a rise out of everybody, including myself, son of a bitch. This is some more news from the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation. Attempted murder on two COs at CHCF Stockton. All right. I'm not going to talk so much about the incident, right? Because details are still rolling in. However, I'm going to talk to you about surrounding circumstances as to why the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation is as dangerous as as it is right now at an all-time high. Probably the most dangerous it's ever been. Um, and I'm not talking about the 70s, where you literally have the convicts throwing CO guards off the tier and stuff like that. I'm talking about like present time. It is wild, and here is why. Once upon a time, say 2006, 2007, it's when I came in the department. There was order... There was control, and there was security, and there was designations. Meaning, certain prisons were created for certain types types of inmates, right? And there was a whole classification process on how to identify those types. From level one, your lowest risk, lowest security. Now, are they still dangerous? Yes, but I'm not getting into that part. To your level two, to your level three, to your level four GP killers. All right. Certain crimes on the streets that when you come in, you're automatically level four. Calipat, Calipatria State Prison had always been known as a level four GP prison. Okay. 270 design. That housed some of the most violent individuals. Active gang members, all right. It's kind of okay, you know, for, you know, when you you know that when you get to this prison, <laughs> be ready, right? Be ready. The whole major staff assault in 2005 and so many others to list, man. The East Coast Crips rushed the program office back then. You can see, like, okay, they got these dangerous level fours, they're at this dangerous prison. This shit's gonna crack off like this, period. You had Pelican Bay, Pelican Bay, they designed. To house the heavy hitters, the prison gang leaders, all right? Uh, again, I'm not going to get into my belief system. I'm going to just show you the prison des designations, locations, and missions. I think that's the thing, mission. Each prison had their own mission. So, in essence, the department sent a message or tried to send a message to the prison gang leaders and said, okay, you want to be the leaders of these gangs and orchestrate all this criminal activity? We're going to put you away here at this prison, in this box, the shoe, security housing unit. So the CO, you know, like, hey, man, when I go work Pelican Bay, this is what I can expect. I can expect lockdown 23 hours a day. They get one hour of a concrete yard. I can expect that, right? I know that these dudes, their word, carries throughout the state their word carries on to the street whatever they want to happen will happen period there was uh certain medical facilities in central california people with uh inmates with mental uh, there's certain medical facilities inmates with medical issues will get housed there maybe they have dialysis programs or livers and kidneys that fails due to cirrhosis of the liver long-term drinking drug use and etc etc If an inmate committed a crime within prison, they would go to administrative segregation unit, ad seg, whole, right? Fuck, there was time for fist fights. I remember when I first came in, fist fights, you can go to the hole, right? There was criterias. And they didn't have nothing coming in the hole. They didn't have televisions. They didn't have phone calls. They had absolutely nothing. They got a shower every three days. They went out to yard. At first, there was a big yard. Then they got the individual dog kennels. So you can see, like, damn, that. whether you agree or you don't agree, that was a system, okay? That was a system. 
Now, were there still staff assaults happening and attempted murders on officers? Yeah, there was. There was. Riots were all out of control. Level three, GP. All right, that's the whole backstory. So why is California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation so dangerous now than it has ever been? Oh, one more caveat. You remember death row? <laughs> Not Shug's death row. California's death row. You remember those death row inmates that were condemned in a jury of their peers? Whatever crime they committed was as heinous as it was to determine you will be condemned. Period. They went to death row. San Quentin. So one can think if I go work San Quentin, I'm gonna encounter death row inmates. You see how everything made sense, right? Well, slowly but surely, things started changing. Faster than crazy in reality. They mixed everybody. I've told you this. They even mixed the GPs and yes and why. I was there. They even put the condemned inmates on general population yards. I was there. Um... So now, in essence, you have a a free-for-all. It's a free-for-all, okay? You have violent, dangerous individuals housed in extremely low-level security institutions and areas. You see where I'm going with this now. You realize how fucking dangerous that is for everybody, for other inmates, for free staff, for medical, for mental health, for COs, for everybody, except the administrators that hang out in their desk all day. This is the truth. What do you want me to tell you? What about CHCF Stockton? That is a fairly new prison in comparison to the rest of them. I remember when they activated it, man. I was at Sentinella still. I forgot what year. Somebody can correct. Somebody can put it in there. They sent out letters throughout the state. Who wants to come work at CHCF Stockton? Activate it. Of course, people that can never pick up a sergeant, they went over there. They got promoted. You could have Three years in the department, you were top seniority. It was a brand new prison. Right out the gate, I heard it was a cluster. I heard it was a mess. Well, the way that prison is designed is like a level two low security. Okay, from what I gather, there's no gunners. There's no gunners in any type of control booth. There's no gunner in any type of tower besides the towers that let you in through the vehicle sally port and through the staff entrance. I mean, I would assume those guys are armed. (laughs) Other than that, when you're inside, it is open. It's open. Inmates can walk around freely. I believe it might even be dorm setting. I've been to that prison. I went to the R&R there. Uh, But I didn't go inside any type of housing unit. It was like the middle. It was like 2 in the morning when I got there. We were doing a CRT transport, crisis response team transport for a real piece of work. We had to go pick them up every day at Stockton, CHCF, and bring them down to Chula Vista Courthouse and take his ass back up there. And you made a scene every time. They have condemned inmates at Stockton. They do. What did that tell you? That's an extremely dangerous situation. Okay. Lifers, LWAP designations now Hector is every condemned inmate dangerous is every LWAP is every lifer dangerous as far as I'm concerned and as far as the officer's safety is concerned you should assume that every single inmate wearing blue is absolutely dangerous why for your safety for your safety does that mean act like a dick or disrespect them nah just means be prepared to handle business at a drop of a hat again I think I keep repeating myself With that being said, if you're an outsider looking in, you think, oh, an inmate attempted to murder two officers. Cut and dry. Nah, man. Those officers are being put in a position of disadvantage. Those officers, to include the California model and the propaganda that is being forced, you guys see it now, it's a facade. You're trying to make it seem like inmates are not going to hurt officers, number one. You change the name from inmates to incarcerated persons to further that agenda. You're not fooling me. You're not fooling anybody. Number two, remember I said if you did something wrong in ADSEG or you would go to ADSEG and you didn't have TVs, you didn't have tablets, you didn't have phone calls? Well, now you get all of it. You get everything and then some. Okay, so really there's no more consequence to go into the hole, which has now been renamed Restricted Housing Unit, RHU, and 
you didn't fool me again either. So the cumul- cumulation of, I think that's a word, mixing everybody, fucking up all the levels, putting every all the violent inmates where they shouldn't be, clearly you have a dangerous situation. As a result of enabling, enabling inmates, every time they misbehave, you reward them, such as when Pollard brought those Sureños uh, barbecue plates in Adseg after they attempted to murder those two cops. Um, A.W. Plummer offering cookies, handjobs, and televisions in Adseg for them to behave. I want you to think of a pit bull on the street. If a pit bull on the street bites and eats a little kid and eats them, they get the dog catcher comes, gets that dog, and puts it down, period. Never to be seen again. Well, in the California Department of Corrections, if a pit bull gets out of line, they just feed it more meat, feed it more meat feed it more meat so you can see the enabling damn heck you ain't got to be so rude no i got to be truthful it's behavior human behavior right i I walked around these individuals for for years numerous years and i observed their behavior okay i always used to say i don't reward bad behavior i tell my five-year-old daughter i don't reward bad behavior why because it fosters an environment that if i act out of control i'm gonna get bonuses (laughs) extras Nah, man, hell nah. With that being said, man, these two officers performing their duties at 06, approximately 0642 hours yesterday on April 11th or 10th, around the, uh, performing mass searches, a dangerous freaking individual, you can look at his picture, pulls out a weapon and starts blasting the cop. Boom. Now, is there levels to this? Absolutely. There's levels to staff assaults. Look, think about a gassing. A gassing is considered an aggravated battery. That's when an inmate gets poop or pee or blood or any other bodily fluid or whatever and throws it on an officer, whether it hits his face, his jumpsuit, his arms, his legs. That's, a, that's an aggravated battery, okay? There's battery. An inmate punches an officer in the face. That's a battery. He's getting charged with battery. There's battery with serious bodily injury. Off, the inmate punches the officer, breaks his orbital. Because he had he sustained a fractured bone, now the inmate is getting charged with um, battery with serious bodily injury, battery with SBI. Now, what about attempted murder, Hector? Attempted murder is exactly what it sounds like. An inmate attempting to murder a cop. Now, maybe that wasn't his intention. However, his actions can very well have led to the death of an officer, period. And I've been involved in numerous attempted murders, okay? Attempted murders on peace officers and attempted murders on inmates. Now, anybody here, I'm going to ask you guys, involved in an attempted murder of any sort. What is the luck and what is the probability that that individual could have died? Oh, it's just right there, right? It's a hairline. It's a hairline. It's by chance that that the individuals didn't die in an attempted murder. Okay, this is why I say an officer is going to get killed Very soon in the California Department of Correction, the rehabilitation due to the propaganda, the agenda, and the incompetence, gross negligence of the managers and administrators. Period. It's facts. I got documentation. I got so much documentation, I don't know what to do with it. We just had an attempted murder at Lancaster. You had the inmate choking out the officer like he was Bart Simpson. You had the female staff member patting him, patting him on his back like this, man. This is where we're at. So, now, for those that want to say, Hector, you knew the job was dangerous when you took it. Or, hey, those SEALs know what they got themselves into. That's not accurate. Reason being, if you were a NASCAR driver, and they told you to go drive the NASCAR, but yet somebody cut your brake line, flattened three of your tires, spray-painted your windshield front black so you can't see out of, and then they told you to go race the NASCAR 500. You see how that would fucking definitely impact the way you perform your duties you see that now right i keep preaching to the choir people still reach out to me and i thank you guys man but i guess i'm just going to keep doing this until it finally happens and then when it finally happens i'm not even going to say i told you so right i would hope that you guys you guys start acting now start documenting everything until and and be be ready, right? You're the next victim. You are absolutely the next victim. With that, the message for today is, yeah, the message for today is not everything is as it seems. It, there's more to everything than what you guys see. 
period. And it is messed up, messed up. So messed up, and I'm going to end it with this. I was texting a good friend yesterday. And I said, bro, a cop's going to get killed. A cop's going to get killed. And he's like, yep, numerous, numerous. And I'm like, damn, dude. I said, you know what, man? That's why I left. I left. And it's not the cop getting killed that would have been the worst part for me. The worst part would have been, had I been a lieutenant on a yard, Charlie Yard, Donovan, and an officer would have got killed, I would not have been able to stomach when the captain comes and tells me to resume yard or walk them to chow. Because that should be a lockdown, right? Now, for them to say, nah, we would lock it down. No, I know the department well enough. They were not. Gonna, they will walk them to chow, and they will resume program. With that, I would never be the one to do that. I, wouldn't, I would quit on the spot. I would make it known that this captain wants me to resume yard, and I'm out of here. Later, send me my last check. I don't care. I'm not partic- partaking in this anymore. That's another reason why I left. With that, I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. This episode right here was sponsored by the following patrons. Steve, still violating state policy. Brianna, Tocayo, Carnalito, treatment not time. False alarms force used. Lauren, enforced fit. Fishing is life. Damn LT, can that sure get any tighter? Gigi, Vinny Melapela, Santa Barbara County. Don Chicharro, shut the F up and make it wink. A la verga, 760. Scorpio rising, Miss Rod. G-O-G ride, vote Newsom out. The prison psychologist, Fuerte 84. Mark. Zeus, Michigan Wolverines, don't trip, put me out sick self, buck, me ass, AWOL like Monte, one bad yard, federal che- Cherokee cat, loco moco, the big bad wolf, Raider 62, L Eli, thank you for the pizza, CCPOA, and the barbecue plates, Gerardo, Steven, Rigo SD, Pelot, Eric, not on my watch, who's doing the pipe, Denise, the real McCoy, I'm not shower sharky, and I'm just doing my rounds, Jay, a pogue in a six pack tower, can I get a one way, I'll close it, I promise, Key, Devil Dog, Ricardo, Maladjusted, Bankroll Suave, Carmine the Pitbull, American Mestizo, Lori, 559CO, Ruben, CJ Zavalza, EOP Whisper, F your 602, Las Vegas Flights Live, Gavino, two of you are getting fired, all three of you are getting assaulted, facts. Three of these nuts, Lockdown 5, Crystal Ball, La Reina, Winston, Tony, the Mexican Snowman, El Skid, Hobie Cat, Lead with Love, Elbert 12, damn, that's a big Samoan. J.I. Theophil Esquiel, Big Bad 48, Nova, Linda, the retired CEO, Mikey 559, Marius, Chevelle 66, Crispy Nuts, Bad Karma, and the homie Rags. I added another video to the Patreon this morning. Shit you're not going to be able to see anywhere else. If you haven't already fi- signed up for that Patreon, well, everybody else has, make sure you hit that link in the description below. You're definitely missing out. Keep pushing forward.